biology it is a branch that deals with the living organism or branch of study that deals with the living organism from protozoa to higher vertebrates higher mammals uh, plant microbes bacteria and etc biology have many sub branches like cell biology molecular biology genetics uh, immunology ecology evolutionary biology and so on when we read a particular topic in biology there are some basic terms that we actually overlook not intentionally but we actually overlook them but those terms are very much essential or very much helpful to understand the topic itself so in this video i am going to discuss about some basic interesting facts of biology that you must know to understand the topic very well hello friends welcome to biology concern i am anivesh choudhury so let's jump into the topic first thing first the word biology originates from a greek word bios and logia bios means life and logia means branch to study as i told you before that it is a branch that deals with the living organism okay so biology has its origin from greek word the term biology coined by two scientists at the same time in 1802 lamar and treviranus both of the scientists coined the term biology it is a uh, branch that deals with the living organism so treviranus and lamar in 1802 both separate independently coined the term biology when you read a particular topic there are some terms that originated from every terms either originated from greek or latin so our first question is why most of the biological terms have their origin from either greek or latin latin so what is the point what is the basis origination of the term from greek or latin here is the answer most ancient literatures that means ancient scientific journals scientific literatures scientific uh, discoveries are written in either greek or latin so it would be easy way to refer the old literature to our modern discovery let me give you an example chromatography it is a very common tool very popular tool very popular technique to identify amino acid to identify phyto different kinds of phytochemicals it actually originated from a greek word that is chroma and graphene chroma means color and graphene means to write okay so it is a technique that depends on the color color development or particular amino acids particular uh, phytochemicals like flavonoids alkaloids etc so in our modern discovery in our modern terms easy to refer from those scientific origins or scientific literatures that is from ancient greek or latin literatures so that is the answer second thing why latin is the most preferable language for naming of a species every species has its own name just like us humans has a scientific name of homo sapiens sapiens so we are species and our names in latin in homo sapiens sapiens why every species has its own name and that originated from latin and latin is the most preferable language why so latin is a dead language it is actually a dead language and does not evolve so in in terms of time latin does not evolve uh, Oxford English Dictionary every year include few words in their dictionary and it evolved every year and it just widespread and it just evolved in every year. So, uh, but Latin on the other hand is a dead language, so therefore does not evolve and so it is acceptable to everybody because vernacular names would be difficult to keep track of a species. Vernacular names or local names, if we consider a particular species. there are several names in several languages okay uh, in terms of their region origin let me give you an example like naja naja 
the scientific name for common spectacled cobra. I live in West Bengal, India. In Bengali, Naja Naja are referred to as Gokro. And in Maharashtra, it is uh, referred to as Nagasa. So, when we travelled from one place to another place, the particular species name changed in their vernacular names. Okay. So, lo their local name had been changed. So, one person have to learn or have to learn all of the language of the world. That is nearly impossible or it is impossible. So, as a common name, it would be easier to identify the species. If, we, if I say Naja Naja, that is, it is always means for spectacled cobra. Just like AP Syndica dorsata, it is a species of Indian honeybee. So, when I call that Apis indica or Apis indica dorsata, it means an Indian species of honeybee. So, it is uh, acceptable to everybody in the world to understand the species or to identify the species. Next thing, how any word in any language can be converted into Latin? So, every word in every language can be converted into Latin. But how? How it is possible? So, it is possible in that way by changing the ending of the suffix. So, in a word, if we change the ending letter, end suffix, so it can convert it into Latin by using as a ensis ii, like mangifera indica. Mangifera indica is a scientific name for mango. Okay, here you saw. That there is an A present in the last suffixing, end suffixing. So, indica, India, and therefore indica. Another example is Solibacillus calami. It is a bacteria discovered in International Space Station. And <coughs> it is uh, named after our former president of India, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. So, it is calami, II. So, II adding in their end suffix and it converted into a latin okay so scientific name is converted into latin it is an it kalami refers to tribute to our former president of india dr apj abdul kalam so it is in you can convert any word in any language by using as a ensis or ii by their end suffix like hibiscus rosa sinensis, there is an ensis in the end. Like dorsata, a. Ah. Like naja, a. Ah. Okay. Fourth and most important question what is the original name of Carolus Linnaeus? Carolus Linnaeus uh, was a Swedish naturalist and also uh, known as the father of modern taxonomy. And we all know Carolus Linnaeus. But what is his actual name? So his actual name is Carl von Lee. In the process of taxonomic nomenclature or binomial nomenclature, he first converted his name from uh, triple, uh, from three letter, three word letter to two. That means genus and species in, in terms of species. But he first convert his name Carolus Linnaeus from Carolus to Carolus Linnaeus. Then he proceeds to each and every species known at that time. So I think this information help you to understand the basic facts of the biology. If you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.